welcome back. This uh, video summarizes what all we have learnt this week about RNNs. RNNs are recurrent neural networks, they are basically used for variable size sequential data. In engineering problems, whenever you have time series and especially equally spaced temporal data, RNNs can be tremendously useful, at least they are very powerful. We still are discovering uh, use case problems for engineering problems. Sometimes there is a course on, on there is a whole series of um, uh, techniques for uh, time series analysis and that might be sometimes. In fact, there are some recent papers that argue that time series analysis is actually much more powerful than let us say LSTMs or usual RNNs for engineering problems. So, this is still uh, something that is still being discovered, okay. but typically this would be the best case scenario if you have equally spaced time series data then sometimes uh, RNNs can be extremely powerful. So, whenever you have variable size sequential data you use RNNs. The basic structure of an RNN is simply an ANN repeated, okay. which is why sometimes you will see this figure x h looping on itself. It basically means if you unroll it you have x h x h x h going sequentially again and again. We usually we use only one set of if it is not deep we use use only one set of w u v. w denotes the connection with the previous h, u denotes the connection with x and v denotes the connection with the final predictive layer. We saw that we have gradient problems. Uh, the gradient problems can either be vanishing gradient or they can be exploding gradient. Uh, for vanishing gradient we use alternate architectures. specifically GRU and LSTM and for exploding gradient we use gradient clipping. We also saw that we have because this u, v and w are the same we use back propagation through time and sometimes it can get very expensive because you are just back propagating through the whole thing which is why we sometimes do truncated back propagation through time. In fact, for when you have a large number of sequential steps you can use truncated back propagation through time. Finally, we also saw that you have slightly different more sophisticated versions of the same thing even using LSTMs you can either use deep RNNs or you can use bidirectional RNNs. Now, all these sequence of techniques can be applied to several problems and they are being applied to several problems especially language tasks. Within engineering and science this is still something that is in development CNNs and ANNs have actually got already got mature uses in uh, engineering problems. RNNs are still developing as far as engineering problems are concerned. We have not found too many uses for that. We will show you one more application in week 10 of this course. Thank you.